Are you a real estate agent, realtor, investor, or are you in the real estate business and you need new listings and deals? We have a solution for you, and that solution has guaranteed results. How much would you pay to get face-to-face -face with a homeowner that wants to sell their home? What if you also got their email address and daytime phone number? And what if this homeowner also scheduled you to come to their door at a set time to meet with you? Sound too good to be true? It isn't. And it is 100% guaranteed for you to meet face-to-face -face with a real homeowner who really needs to sell their home. Not only will you get this remarkable contact system and it's 100% guarantee, at no additional charge, you will get weekly coaching, documents, and training on how to get that homeowner and convert them into a new listing. When you purchase, you'll also get a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough so that you can start using the system today. Visit www.thelistingmonster.com. That's www.thelistingmonster.com. Or call Diana Ortiz at 213-706-0040. Stop wasting time the old way. Use a monster and get actual results today. Welcome to the Hanish Report, hosted by Lee Hanish. The Hanish Report is a look at the real estate market and creating effective marketing plans for realtors or investors to get new listings and deals. Your host, Lee Hanish, has over 20 years of experience in real estate, banking, and marketing. Over the last six years, Lee has developed cutting-edge marketing and was named one of the most innovative marketers in America. With over 1 million views, Lee continues to be an advocate for the entire real estate community. Enjoy today's show. Um, okay, we'll take care of it, Charlie. So today we're here to talk about Zillow, uh, their impact, what's going on with inventory, uh, cost per clicks, the reason you guys are struggling to get listings this summer. I'm going to show you a very clean way around that issue so that you can succeed and get listings. That's the goal of the webinar. The only goal of this, what there, there are two goals of this webinar. Okay, one is to prove out what you already probably know about the market and why the game is, I wouldn't say the game is rigged. I'm just saying that it's going to take a lot of, uh, it's going to take a lot of budget for you guys to compete the way that other people are competing. Um, and I'm going to show you a cleaner data route towards people that aren't going to necessarily be involved or get caught up on the internet side, right? And uh, because of that, they make them a more desirable listing. I'm just telling you how I do my business, how I get my listings, how I coach my students. At the end of all of this, I will make an offer for some of you to join my coaching program. I'm going to be transparent. I'm looking for a couple of coaching students. I don't look for many because we do personal one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring. It's just the way we operate. We don't take everybody. We just take a few people from each of the webinars. Understandable? Everybody good? Makes sense? So we're going to talk about Zillow. Let's start off with talking about Zillow. Forgive me if I drink coffee. I've actually got my slides in order. These are all right off the internet. I'm not going to hide anything. Everybody know about Zillow Instant Offers? Basically, this is what the greatest fear of all real estate agents on the planet are. Zillow is the number one buyer of all data. They are the funnel of all clicks. They are the reason that Fox News bought Realtor.com. Um, the reality is putting all buyers and sellers on one platform is very powerful to a million real estate agents, right? You guys pay to go on to Zillow and buy leads back, but they're not really their leads. What they've done is basically rigged the game and funneled every buyer and seller at them. And I'm going to show you how they do it. And what I'm amused by are real estate agents who actually pay Zillow to support it, right? Zillow's backbone, like their number one pace horse, the, the re how they exist, the reason they have a stock value, okay, is that real estate professionals buy leads from Zillow. That's it. That's the reason Realtor.com got sold. That's the reason Trulia got absorbed. That's why Redfin exists. Everybody, you guys all know this, okay? What I'm amused by is that nobody saw the freight train coming where 
This is instant offers. This isn't a pilot program. What you're looking at is the program on the screen right now, live on their website. So somebody who wants to sell their house, right? We all know that eight out of 10 people through standard purposes are going to wind up on the web. Everybody knows that by a show of hands, right? Everybody understands eight out of 10 people looking to buy or sell are going to be on the web. All right, good. A couple of you know that. A couple of you don't know that. But the reality is this is a fact, okay? They're going to do something online. Good job, Paula. Um, this is what people do. They go online. They want to find out the value of their home. That's why we buy click funnels, right? We buy find out the value of our home. We do we do everything we have to do, right, <laughs> to try to funnel those people. Zillow realizes they're going to wind up on their website, okay? So what they've designed is a way to get – now, they got all the buyers before. Now they're going to go after all the sellers, and it's very simple how it works. You share your details. They'll submit it online. <laughs> And they'll connect you with investors, which I'm sure they make a percentage of, but nobody's ever disclosed that. And they'll even figure out a neutral third-party type escrow process for the whole thing. Look at that. Five easy steps. Doesn't that seem simpler than our 26 pages of contracts, uh, people falling out, loans, you name it. It's a shitstorm. Excuse my French. But we've all been doing real estate for a while. I've been doing it since 88. It was a one-page, a four-page, and then... Overnight, it was 100-page contracts with subaddendums and people with bad attitudes and deal killers and loans and title reports and fictitious HOAs. You name it, right? That's why we're in the business. That's our business. Um, <laughs> here's Zillow. Five easy steps. Hey, just give us the information. We'll find you a buyer. Forget about all those real estate agents. They're crazy. They'll keep paying for the buyer clicks. This is this is insulting. Let's go a step further. How do they do it? Well, again, they've rigged the game on some level. What you're looking at are cost per clicks, right? What are costs per clicks? So supported by your dollars, my dollars, realtor dollars, real estate agent dollars, they buy keywords so that when people go on Google, they funnel all the traffic back at their website. That's reality. Look at those costs per click. They're willing to pay roughly $25 a click to get people onto their website. How does Zillow pay for it? Through the hard-earned dollars of realtors who are looking through for buyers. Unbelievably enough. Your dollars are paying for them to funnel all the buyers and all the sellers back onto their website. That's what Zillow is doing. It has gone so far that one guy created a website called Stop Zillow, where he believes that he's going to get all of you guys to sign up and stop this. And by the way, there's nothing you can do to stop it. It's free trade. They have the right to do it. What should have happened was the National Association of Realtors should have gotten involved much sooner, should have done something about it, and they didn't, okay? They should have cut them off. They should have funneled. They should have done this. Now there are, now the National Association of Realtors is offering all of us uh, free websites so that we can stream uh, MLS data back at buyers. That's not what's happening here. What's happening here, right, is that they are going after the sellers. I don't really care about buyers. I care about sellers. I don't, I've don't. i never cared about buyers. I don't know about the rest of you, but buyers to me are tedious amounts of work. If I have the listing, I'm going to have the buyer. Okay. Now let's go one problem bigger, shall we? This is as of today, June 27th. This is a Bloomberg report. Uh, sales rose again, prices rose again, and inventory went down. Okay, let's compile all this data. You can't compete on the internet. You have a million real estate agents. There's, the buyer's agents are supporting Zillow by buying click leads. Zillow's spending their money on absorbing all the internet feeds so that anybody who's buying or selling wind up on their website. Okay, I'm not speaking out of school. We all know there's an inventory issue. 
because all the debt inventory from the market collapse, right? All the REO inventory that would have become inventory again, which would have saturated the market and kept the prices down and affordable uh, is gone, right? Those all got bought up and those are all rentals now, okay? And now we have an inventory issue and we also know this, new housing starts aren't gonna catch up to the inventory issue. So at no point this summer or for the foreseeable future, will there be a sudden burst of homes for you to sell on the market, period. Was that clear and concise? Show of hands, questions? Do, do we all agree on this? Can we all agree on this? I'm not painting an unrosy picture. I am telling you exactly how the market is. I'm in Southern California, it's as hot as it gets. Sell a house, it's on the market for five days, price right, it's out the door with a cash offer from an investor. I'll get the flip on the back end, yada, yada, yada. I realize I'm talking fast, but this is the market we're a part of. Everybody on the same page about it? Show of hands, anything, questions? I don't wanna speak out of school. Sure, <laughs> thanks Charlie. Anybody else? All right, can we all agree that that's roughly what the market looks like? This is what's happening. This is a real thing, right? All right. So let's talk about getting around it, shall we? If we can safely assume that the inventory is an issue, right? That Zillow is funneling all buyers great and small, right? And I can't compete with click games. And, you know, I, I can't. I can't compete with the click game either. I can't. So I got to look for people that aren't going to use the internet. Now let's take in one other factory. And you guys all know this door knocking, cold calling and mailers. So I've got a bunch of desperate agents looking for listings aggressively using door knocking, cold calling and mailers. Again, can we all agree on that? If we don't have inventory, people are going to try twice as hard with the methods that they know work. So now I've lost the internet. Door knocking, cold calling, and mailers. I know that expireds, canceled, probates, divorces, and fizbos are being hammered into the ground. It's reality. That's what everybody's doing to find a listing. And they're cultivating their referral sources as hard as they can. So they're using Facebook, right? Okay, let's talk about Facebook. That's another one of those deals. What you're looking at are Facebook ads that are used incorrectly half the time, but this is what they look like. People post little ads about I'm listing a house or, you know, my favorite. Click here, fill the form out and show me the homes now or fill out my home. You're paying, you're funneling, you're looking for buyers, you're looking for sellers, but you're sending it to your list and the list of their friends. Maybe you'll spend a couple bucks more, so you're at a couple bucks a click. But if you've invested in real Facebook advertising or real Twitter advertising, you know you're going to spend thousands of dollars to get the first deal. You just know it. You're going to over a period of time. It's going to take hundreds of dollars to get a substantial lead uh, if it's a cold lead. And that's not an exaggeration. So where does that leave you? Right? Where does that leave all of us? So where that leaves us is using an alternative data source. What are alternative data sources? If we assume, okay, and I'm guessing because you're all still on here, that door knocking, cold calling, and mailer are out. I cannot do expired, canceled, FISBO, probate, or divorce. You are cultivating your referral sources, right? That's our number one source of getting a listing. If I'm going too fast, I'm sorry, I am recording. The second thing is I need to be doing cold start marketing. How do I do cold start marketing? I need to look for a data source that is not preferred by real estate agents, okay? Not preferred by real estate agents, that is desirable to all cash investors and buyers on a quick situation. I want those sellers not to be on the internet, and I want those sellers not to be affected by door knocking, cold calling, and mailers right? Did I say anything too fast? Are there questions? Because if I go too fast, I can actually clarify in a couple of spots. So that leaves you people who are defaulted, people who have missed payments. So I have been in real estate since 1988 doing um, 
asset management, REOs, foreclosures, uh, pre 